What's up, fellow YouTubers? Sitting back with a delicious drink combo. This is a mixture of Bud Light seltzer waters. We got a mixture of black cherry and mango. I tried all four of their flavors in their 12 pack variety, and all four of them taste delicious. Mmm. I like all four of the flavors, but the mango one's probably my favorite next to the black cherry. The strawberry and the lemon lime are equally as good. It's a fun little way for the adults to um, liven the party up, drink responsibly. This combination is not for minors. Mm. I tried all four of them separately and I'm like, that's not too bad. I tried the Mike's Harder Strawberry Pineapple Lemonade. That's good shit too. Mm -hmm. Not a sponsor, just free advertisement. So I got something to say. You may not like it. Of course you may, you may like it. Women are not sex objects. And the reason why they get perceived as such is because of this negative stereotype that all men want is sex. And because of that negative stereotype, it puts men underneath this pressure to constantly crave it and want it. It puts women underneath pressure to constantly give it and it just creates this negative BS across the border now think about it YouTube think about it for just one second if a woman has encountered five to six assholes for her last couple of dating partners She's not going to trust men. She's going to be done with them. Or she's going to be sick of their crap. It almost never fails. And on top of that, people are going to look at her like, well, you're jumping from boyfriend to boyfriend real quickly. What's up with that? And I feel like that's kind of unfair for women especially because the relationships they're in, the guys turn out to be total assholes men just use women for sex and women just use men for money and it's sad the culture we've created with this people are bitching about the dating scene i'm not the only one to be truthful and if you want to make the dating scene less annoying then it's going to be a contribute from both genders or all genders whatever yeah But there's so many aspects to this as to why our society is fucked in this category. One thing that helps me deal with my depression when it comes to the dating scene is other people struggle with it too. You know. Like my buddy Kurt said, Trolls like to talk shit because they're miserable. They want you to be miserable. That being said, the dating scene's no different. A lot of people who talk shit or who are depressed on the dating scene who treat the opposite sex like crap is because they've been treated like, like crap themselves. So they're taking it out on the whole opposite gender as a whole. And this doesn't do us any good for the dating scene. So, and to be fair, both women and men treat each other like shit. It doesn't do the dating scene any good. But if a one woman has encountered five to six asshole guys, she's going to say things like, fuck men, she's done with them, blah, blah, blah. He's depressed because of all the peer pressure that women have to face in our society. Now men like to complain because they're expected to be their toughest. Well, expecting to be your toughest is really no different 
than expecting to be your prettiest. The problem with our society, this is one of many problems, to be quite honest. The female form has been overly sexualized in our society. On top of that, women are seen as mother-like, nurturing, and caregiving. Now, this negative stereotype that all men want is sex, this creates a lot of negative behavioral patterns across the board of this so-called spectrum. It puts men underneath all this pressure. Their masculinity is challenged because they're not getting laid. It's dumb as fuck. Believe me, as a guy, I get it. It makes you more depressed because you're single. And on top of that, if you're a woman, it puts all this pressure on women to give it out. And it's like, you know what? Being single is okay. If you want to spend a couple years cultivating yourself, go right the fuck ahead. But the reason why people hate being single is because society has groomed us to fear being alone. And that's the cold truth of it. So if you're afraid to be alone, I got a news flash for you. We all die alone. There's two different ways you might die alone. And both are equally as depressing. That's the sad truth of it. Uh. You could die alone, never finding your soulmate. Never, then that concept of soulmate doesn't exist. Your bubble's been popped. You find people that are best suited for you. The biggest problem with the dating scene, to be quite honest, is a lot of people who are so used to being treated like shit, they think they're not good enough for someone decent. They could encounter someone decent in their life and then be afraid to trust them because they're so used to being treated a certain way. And the person on the opposite side of that could be afraid to accept X y, X, Y, and Z because of X, Y, and Z. It's just how the dating scene is. It's being nonchalant and truthful at the same time. Yep. Having a nightcap for the evening, this is a mixture of, after trying all four flavors separately, the Bud Light Seltzer line tastes pretty good. You got cherry, which is the black cherry, the mango, the uh, lemon lime, and the strawberry. They're all pretty tasty. And the only reason why this alcoholic seltzer water exists it's because our society is so goddamn health conscious. Beer taste is an acquired taste, yes, but people like getting drunk and they're health conscious about it to some degree. Like, you're already drinking alcohol, which can be bad for you in excessive amounts if you're not responsible with it. But on top of that, you're going to be calorie conscious about it. That's fucking rich. We like getting drunk, but we don't want to get fat off of it. So here we have Bud Light Seltzer, which all the jokes aside, it's actually pretty tasty shit. Free advertisement, baby. I tried it all four separately, and I'm like, these are pretty good. I'll take my... Take two of them, you know. I could mix the Bud Light Lime Lemon with some Mountain Dew. That'd be tasty as shit. I would mix the strawberry one with the strawberry pineapple Mike's Harder Lemonade. So like there's tons of delicious combinations you could make with these. You know. Men calling each other a pussy because that's the thing of it. Oh you're drinking a Bud Light Seltzer. That, that shit's for pussies. Real men drink real Bud Light. And it's like dude shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. 
I'm so tired of men demasculating each other. I'm so tired of women being treated like sex objects. And the only reason that women are treated like sex objects is because sometimes men are pigs. And on top of it, the female form has been overly sexualized in our society. There's all this pressure on men to get laid and women to get married, and I'm sick of it. If you like this style of video, subscribe for more. Mm. Hmm. I'm gonna collect some more wand wood and I was gonna do that earlier, but I was focused on getting a friend of mine's staff finished. My buddy likes it. He's like, dude, you fix the staff. Fuck yeah. Yeah. When I make a wand for my friends and I can easily fix it, just takes a little bit, then I'll do it. You know. My buddy Jeremy just got a, my buddy Rasta Jeremy just got out of surgery. And, um, you know, I got the staff fixed at the right time. Let's just leave it at that. On a side note, my friend Kurt, which I thought his name was Kevin, but I'm horrible with names. Regardless, you heard that story where I said I was laughing at the trolls and he says, Trolls just want to talk shit because they're miserable and they want to make you feel miserable. That's the truth. And the same can be said for the dating scene, to be quite honest. Women and men who have experienced shitty dating partners will either reject dating or make the opposite sex feel like shit because they feel hurt, betrayed, depressed, angry, unjustified, etc. Okay, if you have a man or a woman treating you like shit, if you're treating the opposite sex like shit, that makes you no better than your shitty ex. That's the truth of it. Is it hard to trust the opposite sex when you've been treated like shit? Yes, it is. A lot of men go on their own. A lot of women think about going lesbian because they're done with men. But I'm here to tell you that women are just as equally shitty as men when it comes to the dating scene. So if you think going lesbian because you're sick of men will fix all your problems, no it won't. There are women out there who hate trying to be friends with other women because it's this pissing contest of who's hotter. Kind of like with guys of who's got the bigger muscles, you know, it's, it's dumb, YouTube. And here's something to think about. If a woman has dated five shitty guys, like I said, her perspective on dating is going to be, you know what, dating sucks. If you got a guy who's decent, who waits patiently for his girlfriends, but still struggles with it because of his own bullshit, his perspective on it is going to be dating sucks. The perspective may end up being the same, but for different reasons. This is why men and women are very similar to each other. I mean, if men and women focused on what makes them similar, communication amongst the genders would improve. What the fuck do I know? I haven't had a girlfriend in three years almost. I've been laid in almost three years, and it sucks. It does. But patience is a virtue, and a patient fisherman always gets his fish. There are plenty of cute chicks around town who are checking me out, so I'm not worried about it, you know? Cheers, YouTube. So watch out. That seltzer water combination is dank.
people assume that my perspective on dating is useless because I've been single for so long. They think, well, if you're single, why should we take advice from you? Uh, my counter argument to that is people who are in a relationship, they only focus on their relationship. They're not focused on the whole dating scene in general. And on top of that, people who are single and looking tend to observe the dating scene a lot better. But of course, the problem with guys, because of this whole all guys want is pussy mentality, which creates a negative impact amongst the genders. It puts guys underneath all this pressure to constantly get laid, and it puts women underneath pressure to constantly give it out, and it's horse shit. I gotta take a piss. Alcohol goes right through you. Gender-based bullshit can piss off. I don't care what anyone says. That video. One second, YouTube. In all honesty, YouTube, love with the right person, it feels good, doesn't it? Yeah? So people bitch about how miserable the dating scene is while contributing to that misery. And then, you know, it's, it's enough to make your head spin like, oh, for fuck's sake. That's like the equivalent of... Sticking your hand on a hot stove and being like, ow, fuck, that hurts. And then continuing to do it while bitching about the outcome. 
I'm not trying to sound condescending or talk downish to anyone. I'm just saying that's my personal opinion. Show that logo of Pabst Blue Ribbon Hard Coffee. This stuff, oh. This stuff's delicious. Anyways, YouTube, thank you for watching my night video. I'll catch you, Cool Cobras, later.